Now, one important little gotcha here, which I'm sure didn't actually fall through your example, was the calling of this.world.clearforces every frame. Now, this is an important point in our physics engine implementation. Typically, in a physics engine, you'd set the velocity, toss around some objects, and be on with your day. The reason for this is that Box2D assumes that you are in a two-dimensional environment with the gravity vector always pointing down. As such, if you were to create an object and throw it through the world, the gravity forces on it would actually move it downward. However, in GRITS, this is not the correct policy. What we'd like to do is for a projectile to move forward along a straight path without vertical gravity influencing it. However, because we're a top-down game and don't have a gravity vector, any small velocity vector gets accumulated on our physics object each frame without friction, allowing it to continue bouncing around in the environment. Or rather, you should think of gravity as something that produces friction on an object, slowing its velocity. We fix this sort of gliding hockey puck motion by reducing the influence of the physics engine on our world. Namely, we allow the velocity of an object to be set for a given frame, the physics engine to move that object and compute the position and rotation and collisions. And then at the end of the frame, we erase and remove that velocity vector. Now, unless we reapply a velocity vector the next frame, the object will sit in its position, not moving.